everybody, I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV here in Round Rock, Texas. Today I'm going to show you around the Backcountry 20BD. Now this is by Outdoors RV and if you're familiar with them, they are famous for their four season trailer. But this is meant for getting off the main highway. So it has standard features like a rugged heavy duty suspension, onboard generator and solar panels. So much to look at here. This trailer is 21 foot floor length. Total length is 25 foot. It weighs 6,200 pounds and it's gonna cost right around $45,000. Now there's only a few options and they are all on this trailer. So I'll point them out as we go along. Let's get started inside. The first thing you're gonna notice coming into this space, it's not a big living area, but six foot 11 to the ceiling. That's right. If you've seen the videos before, you know that I am five foot tall, but even for Clint who's filming this, he's six four and this feels very open. The other thing that makes it feel so open, look at this window, huge with windows on both sides. Now this dinette is 40 inches wide and 84 inches long. Very comfortable. There is a lot of people who could sit around this comfortably. The table is not huge, but I think it's very adequate for this dinette and space. And you could actually turn it sideways, make it a little easier to slip into the dinette if you wanted. The thing that you're gonna notice the most, it really is the windows, folks. This window is huge. The ones on both sides just make this feel like you're almost sitting outside. Now, it does open right here on these bottom corners so you can get air coming through and the bottoms of the side windows open as well. So you could easily get a breeze through here and you do have a skylight over on that side. Just, it just feels great to sit here. Now, what we've also got right up here on the wall is a 32 inch 12 volt television. That television is going to work off the battery so you can actually stop on the side of the road or in a parking lot. The stereo is right underneath it. It actually is going to have a DVD player, a CD player. You're going to have AM, FM, Bluetooth, everything that you would expect right across from me here. It is on a swivel so you can reposition it so that it works well for you. Now let me show you one more thing before I move away from here. The shades are now a full blackout shade. Easy to pull down, they roll right back up. These cushions are so soft. They're, I would say they're probably four inch cushions. They're not thin folks. They're very, very comfy. I just can't say enough about the dinette area that is right here at the back of the trailer. All right, LED lighting throughout. They do a great job lighting up this space. Let's move right over here on the other side of the entrance door. And I want to show you all of the panels right here on the end of the kitchen cabinets. Right here, you've got the battery monitor and the LP gas and the electric water heater switch. Right here as you walk in, you've also got a water pump switch. Now this is a three-way water pump switch. So you've got one here, one at the bathroom, and one outside at the exterior spray port. You can turn it on and off in any of those locations. Right up above it is the fresh tank water heater. Now this is a four season trailer, it does have heated and enclosed tanks, but if you're going down the road and you're not running your furnace, that is where this fresh tank heater comes in. That is a heat pad on your fresh tank to be sure it doesn't freeze when you're traveling. Now, remember I told you there aren't very many options. This fresh tank heater, it's a very inexpensive option, but it is an option, so be sure to ask for that when you're looking at trailers. 
Ow, I love this countertop. It is an LG solid surface countertop. It's got nice heavy duty sink covers here on the farmhouse sink. So it is easily usable as a full countertop when you don't need the sink. In addition, they have a flip up counter right here next to it. Gives you a little more space to work with. Just a really solid feel to this. All right, Let's fold that right back down. Move around to the front. This first cabinet, it has a shelf halfway up. So it's full depth on the bottom with a shorter shelf above it. Great for larger items that may need to go in the kitchen. And right next to it, You've got three very nice sized drawers. These are about six inches deep and I would say probably 15 inches uh, in length. So this is a nice sized drawer. You do get a silverware tray in the top one, um, but it only uses a fraction of the space in this drawer. Three drawers in the cabinet and just above that, a little spice rack that runs the length of this countertop. Up above, Again, a really nice space up here. The full depth here, which is about 15 inches, and the height, this would be pantry for me. You may have another use for it, but really, I like the large open space when I'm looking for storage. You do have a window right here above the sink, residential style faucet, pull down sprayer, Give it a little bit of a pull, it is new. And of course it has a little switch on it to switch it to a spray instead of just a straight water faucet. Single handle. And let's take a look at this sink. This is a large farmhouse sink, stainless steel, with a grate in the bottom. And that grate in the bottom is really nice for having things set in your sink, not stain the bottom, but also I use it for drying dishes. All right, let's put this back. Now these are heavy. They're not uh, things that you would easily toss around. So they could be used even as a cutting board or something over at the table if you needed to. Let me fit that right back in here. Trying not to be too loud. Point out here that you do have a household plug if you have appliances sitting right here. A light directly over the sink, which is really nice. A window that you can open right here. Now, along with all this kitchen storage right here, I would like to include in kitchen storage the two drawers that are underneath the dinette. They are really nice sized drawers, easy to get to. Of course, they could be used for anything, but storage right here in the kitchen area certainly could be kitchen storage as well. Directly across from the sink is the eight cubic foot refrigerator. Now this is by Norcold. It is gas electric and it has the nice wood framed front on it. So it looks very residential, but eight cubic foot, that's really nice to have, especially in a trailer that's only a 21 foot box. All right, two hooks right here on the side wall and Let's move a little further down the trailer to look at the rest of the kitchen. Now, the glass top stove, this can always be used as more countertop. And of course, the nice glass backsplash here with the mountains on it. Not only is it great decor, but it really keeps the back of this clean and easy to wipe up if you happen to have splash. This flips right up. You have sealed burners here and a nice big three burner stove. Let's take a look at the oven. Just a very nice workable kitchen and another household plug at this end. Of course, this is where, of course, I would put a coffee maker, but appliances are easily stored right here in the corner, especially if it's something that you leave out all the time. A little more storage up top. Again, the full depth of this uh, cabinet up here and another cabinet underneath. This one is split in half, but still very useful. More pantry. You've got three different shelves available here. Now, if you needed more hanging space and maybe 
less pantry space, these shelves can be removed and there is a hanging bar at the top. So it's very versatile. And two more drawers. So really a nice amount of storage in this kitchen. Briefly, I want to look up and tell you what's on the ceiling. A lot of lighting in this trailer. It is unusual to see this many lights in the ceiling. And the 611 is right in the center that I told you the height of this ceiling. This is a crowned roof and that's great for snow, rain. Uh, it is very well insulated. Uh, it has three layers of insulation on it, a full walk-on roof, but that crowned feature is really great for extreme weather. Lots of lighting. It is a ducted AC. Now the AC that's in this one is another one of the options. It's a 15,000 BTU air conditioner. Standard, it comes with a 13.5 air conditioner, which for many places would do just fine. But there is an upgrade available to this 15,000, which is in what is in this one. The controls for the air conditioner are right here on the wall, and that is also going to control the 35,000 BTU furnace. That is a huge furnace size for a trailer like this. Uh, so you're going to have no problem keeping this trailer cool or warm, particularly with the four season insulation in this. This bathroom is not the largest that you'll find in a trailer, but it has everything that you need. On the left is an angled porcelain toilet, and I love the porcelain because it's easy to clean, it, it's durable, it's sturdy, feels very residential. Now you have hooks for hanging towels, shelving down below the countertop, and storage above the sink and below the sink. The sink is about a 12 inch aluminum oval, so not huge, but that leaves room for counter space on the left, and that's a big one for a lot of people. The shower really has plenty of elbow room in it because it has this swivel shower rod, comes out, gives you lots of space in the shower, and it's got a tub. So if you have children or like to soak your feet, great feature to have in the bathroom. You've also got a skylight, so don't have to worry about head height for almost anyone. Now, as you walk in the door right here on the left, there is a fan switch for the power fan that's in the roof in the bathroom. Again, one of the options you can get is the power fan here and the power fan above the bed. And those two fantastic fans, I don't know why anybody wouldn't want them. So again, I wonder why they're not standard, but they're not. So be sure to look for that when you're looking at a, a, a 20BD if you want those features. The controls are right here on the wall. And under that, of course, a light switch. Below that, the water pump switch that we referenced. Because remember, there are three switches to control the water pump. Now, we also have some compartments I want to show you because it's interesting how Outdoors RV does this. Right under here in the kitchen is a panel that is Velcroed on. This is your water heater right here. So easy access if you need to check it for leaks, do any kind of repairs. And on the other side, in the bathroom, you've got a similar situation. Right in here, if you pull this panel, you have access to the water lines on the other side with the water pump. So having access to those things from the inside is really nice when you're traveling. Maybe you have to do some maintenance or you just need to check the system. Now let's take a look at the bedroom. There's a curtain that's going to close off the bedroom for you here in case you need some privacy. And remember there's a fantastic fan, which is one of the options you can get. It is one option to have the bathroom and the bedroom fantastic fan added, and the controls for the bedroom one are right here next to the bed. The storage around this bed is really nice. Again, hanging rods at the top. They don't add shelves in here for you, but I know there's a lot of people who really do like the shelves, so you would need to do that yourself. A little more storage right up here at the top. This actually runs all the way through. It's very deep, about 18 inches, so a lot of space above the bed right there. Right in the center, 
you are looking at the five stage controller for the solar panel that's on the roof. This trailer comes standard with a 170 watt solar panel on the roof, which is going to recharge the batteries in the system for off grid camping. If you would like to add more, you can get either one more or two more added. So you could have up to three solar panels on the roof of this trailer. Again, that is another option that you can add to the trailer. Lights right on top, so it lights up uh, for reading, laying in bed. Underneath, this is a huge bedside table for an RV. That is so nice. Um, let's take a look at more storage underneath the bed. It's easy to lift up here. And you'll see that the storage is about, I don't know, 10 inches deep, maybe 12, and it is all finished off. And the reason for that is that on the sides, let's give this a push so it goes back down, very easy to do, is that there is a drawer that comes out the sides of the bed here. So if there's two people, it's pretty easy to get all of your gear in these upper cabinets, the drawer underneath, and the storage under the bed. Really quite a bit in here to work with. This bed has got some room to walk around it as well. This is a true queen mattress. It's 60 by 80, just like the standard queen at your house. And there is an option to add a TV on the opposite wall over there if you wanted a second TV for the bedroom. One more thing on the other side I want to show you. So every backcountry RV is going to have a safe and it's small, usually mounted somewhere that's reasonably accessible for storing any type of valuables that you would like to lock up. You'll also notice on both sides there's going to be a plug, not only the household plug for a 110 current, but there's going to be USB plugs as well, both sides of the bed. Really very comfortable in here. Windows on both sides, both of them open so you can get a nice cross breeze. And don't forget, there is that optional fantastic fan on the roof. I think we've covered most of the inside. Let's take a look outside. There's so much to see there. The steps on this trailer, I like to point out because they're very sturdy. Now, they just don't move around much. And the other thing that's nice is that there is a flat floor when you step into the trailer. There isn't a step well to try to ease the getting in and out because that makes it a little more tricky to move around inside the trailer. But with this much ground clearance for an off-road trailer, you've got to have some good sturdy steps. The swing out handle makes it an easy in and out and the friction hinge door stays in place even in the wind. Great setup. But let's talk about the suspension on this trailer because that is really important if you're looking at an off-grid trailer. One of the things that makes this so unique is what they've put into this trailer to get it off the beaten path. The backcountry comes standard with KYB shock absorbers and the Moorride CRE 3000 with rubber bushings that allows for an additional three inches of travel on those rugged roads. It also includes a heavy-duty Moorride shackle kit, and that upgrades from nylon bushings to bronze bushings, and it has wet bolts with seven greasable fittings. The angle iron frame shackle supports are standard on this unit, and every backcountry comes with 16-inch Goodyear Endurance E-rated 10-ply tires. In addition, these are 5,200 pound axles, so this trailer has a 10,000 pound gross vehicle weight rating. That gives you about 3,800 pounds of cargo capacity on this trailer. That's awesome. The Backcountry 20BD has an 18 foot power awning with the LED light strip on it and two marine speakers on this side. The vent right here is for the 10 gallon water heater. It is electric and propane. Right behind there, the household plugs for plugging in those lights, any extra accessories you'd like to plug in out here underneath the awning. The front compartment on the back country is insulated. It is a one inch thick door, so it helps to insulate anything that's inside. They use the magnetic catch, so it's easy to get it out of your way. And rubber diamond plate floor, have the Moorite tray, 
that easily pulls out here. Now this is ready to carry any heavy gear. It can hold up to 800 pounds evenly distributed across it. Generators, ice chests, just about anything you'd want to add in here. There is a spray port on the other side where this hooks into. I'll show you that in just a moment. Let's slide this right back in. This trailer has the optional electric stabilizer jacks. It's the PSX2 system, and the switches are right here on the front wall. You'll see them on the left here for extending and retracting, and then on the right, the switch for the light that lights up the tongue when you're connecting, disconnecting, or need to check out the batteries or the propane. Now right under that, that's the battery disconnect switch, so it's very easy to reach all of that. Now you have a light right at the top, flip switch right on that light, and let's look at the sportsman package on the other wall. There's carrying space for fishing poles, an axe, any type of gear that you would like to add in and take with you can store right there on that wall, out of the way. And the uh, crank handles for manual operation of the jacks or the tongue jack are strapped onto the top of the compartment. Very easy to get to. Okay, one more thing I want to show you with this compartment is that it has the baggage door slam latch. Very easy to close, easy to lock right here up front. Now remember, there's a 170 watt solar panel on the roof, standard on every backcountry. You can add two more on the roof and you can also add a portable solar panel right here. If you happen to be parking in the shade, you might want a portable to put out in the sun and plug it in right here. Every backcountry can have tons of solar. Let's take a look at the front of the trailer. The bottom half of this front cap has the rugged armor guard bed liner, and it serves as a rock guard for anything that might get kicked up when you're going down the road. The fiberglass cap not only serves to protect the front of the trailer, but it adds even more insulation. Now, let's talk about insulation really quickly because this has two-inch insulation, bonded aluminum sidewalls all the way around this trailer, even on the slide out, and even behind this front cap. What a nice feature. Now the roof, it is a full walk-on roof with three layers of insulation. You really just can't beat the four season features on this trailer. These are two 40-gallon propane tanks, and right behind them you can fit four six-volt batteries. Now, batteries are something you can always upgrade on your own. Uh, your dealer is going to put the batteries on it, so be sure to talk to them about all the options available. Now, with these propane tanks, it's a little different than you'll see on a lot of trailers. You will see an exterior port for your grill. Well, Outdoors RV actually provides a way to have a 12-foot gas hose that will allow you to cook on any grill out there. It doesn't have to be the specific ones that will work with the low pressure regulator that's on RVs. This allows you to work with any grill you'd like to. Most grills have a high pressure regulator on it, so that is not a problem with these. Easy to hook up and easy to use. Okay, electric jack, that is standard, and you do have a holder on here for your seven-way plug to keep it out of the dirt and place to hang the chain so everything is off the ground. Now right back here there is a 15-foot toy lock. This is mounted to the frame so if you have say a portable generator or uh, any outside solar panels, any other gear, bicycles that you want to be sure get secured, easy to use the toy lock hook it up to the frame of the trailer. Before we look at the other side of the trailer, I wanted to take just a moment to point out the eight inch frame. Now this is an integrated frame with all the junction boxes behind the connection to the frame because they wanna be sure everything stays secure, out of the way when you're going off road. Great feature, this is such a sturdy build. Uh, check out some of the videos and Outdoors RV if you want to see more about how they build these trailers. 
The 3.6 Cummins generator here is a standard on the backcountry trailers. There is an option if you would like to delete this and just have it generator ready. You can do that and that leaves room for other gear to stay in here or you could have portable generators if you prefer that. So again, the generator is standard, but there's an option if you would prefer to just have it generator ready. The freshwater tank fill is right here on the side. Now, this has a 100 gallon freshwater tank. The gray and the black are 40 gallons each, but with a freshwater tank of 100 gallons, that's a lot of time you can spend off the grid. The sewer hookup is right down below, right here, and they have these nice hatches that lock and unlock to open up and reach in and pull the handles. Now, it is uh, an enclosed heated underbelly, but it's important to note that these are solid poles and the connections are in that insulated part as well. Very often you'll find heated and enclosed underbellies, but if that slice valve is outside of the insulation, makes it really difficult to dump your tanks in cold weather. All of that is enclosed. They do a great system there. So that's what both of these hatches are. It's the gray and the black tank that you would pull to dump your tanks and a light directly above it. Now that round coiled hose that we saw inside the uh, Moride slide out tray was for this spray port. It's a high pressure spray port. You could use it to clean off gear. Uh, you could use it as a portable type shower. Um, but I like to point out that this door is insulated. It is one inch insulation, just like the walls of the camper. So when this is closed, you're gonna have this nice and toasty if it's freezing outside. You also have a switch over here for the water pump. Remember, three water pump switches, one inside, one in the bathroom, and one out here. So you don't have to go inside to turn it on if you wanna use the outside spray port. Next to that, the black tank flush and the city water fill, cable hookup and satellite hookup, and the shore power connection as well. The vent for your 35,000 BTU furnace and the refrigerator vent just above that. I think this is a good time to point out that along with all of this insulation, these are thermal pane windows. Every outdoors RV, not just the back country, has thermal pane windows. Another thing to ask about if you're comparing brands. Four inch bumper, and this also has the bed liner material on it for durability, and it pops out at the end, so you certainly could use it for a sewer hose carrier. There is a receiver welded onto the back of this bumper and it holds up to 250 pounds. Lots of gear could be put back here on a slide out tray, bikes, maybe even some dirt bikes, things like that in a carrier. Lots of choices when you've got 250 pounds. Again, I love this huge window. It's just amazing. Now the fat tube ladders are standard with outdoors RV, so you can always look for that. You know, they know you're gonna be using this trailer for gear, for outdoor use, and your ladder is gonna get used as you crawl up and down for maintenance on the fully walked on roof. Now I've showed you a lot of features on this backcountry trailer, but if I've missed something, please comment below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel because we do a new trailer every week. Thanks for watching. I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV in Round Rock, Texas, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.